All right, send in the pugs. We got a full house marching in this week's pet parade. Our friends from Prone Pug Rescue of New England are joining us today. Thank you so much for being here. And with an array, I mean, look at this lineup of just pug aliciousness, <laughs> including Madge. Um, who is wearing pearls? Your eyes are not mistaken. She, she's just too cool for school. Sunday's very finest. Posh. Karen, tell us why pugs are so special. Well, they they have a sense of humor. Um, they love to snuggle, and if you may notice, they're very famous on Instagram nowadays and Facebook. There's quite a lot of famous pugs. So. And they, of course, come with some special names. We we're saying. So yes, let's absolutely. Take us down the line, shall okay, we? Okay, so over here we have Layla. Layla is five years old. Um, she loves squeaky toys, but not a fan of small children. Okay. And loves the stoic pose for the camera. Yes, huh? she does. <laughs> yes, she does. Those and dogs. she would do best as an only girl, as okay. an only okay. dog. Yes, right. She would be the center of attention. She would get 120 likes for that. Yeah. Just <laughs> right there. Beautiful. Next up. Excellent. This is Clyde, and Clyde is 12 years old. And he also, um, he loves other dogs, and he loves to snuggle as well, a big pug trait. So, <laughs> Common yes. theme or something. Yes, yes, yes. And this is Petunia, and Petunia is actually 14, and she is literally a couch potato. <laughs> um, she loves to hang out on the couch, and she um, sleeps very deeply, so when you want to wake her up, you just have to kind of gently let her know that you're there so you don't startle her. <laughs> um, and she's our senior, senior of the bunch, but like we said, she loves to snuggle on the couch. Also bedazzled, pugilicious. Yes, so we're all fancy too. today. Yes. <laughs> what about Madge? Tell us a little so, bit about her. Madge is actually one of the pugs that we have in hospice care. Mm -hmm. um, she actually came from the Animal Rescue League of Boston. She was involved in a hoarding case, and they asked if we would take her because she had some lumps and tumors, and they weren't sure how long she was going to live. And mm -hmm. how long she's been with us, Kathy, for March of 16. Yeah, so is that over, right? over a year. She's um, gained a lot of weight, and she's doing well, and uh, she's really turned around. So. We are, sometimes we take in pugs who can't necessarily yeah. be adopted out. Uh, so. Talking about people who love pugs, you actually have a big walk coming up, so yes, um, yes. anyone is welcome. Yes, it's on June 3rd, Saturday, June 3rd in South Boston. It's our 5K, but if you're not runners, you can walk it. Um, and you'll see some pugs at the event, and we'll have some vendors, and you get a fun T-shirt. And it's one of our big fundraising events. It's a good time for all. But then refocusing on these faces that you couldn't help but love. Layla just winning me over here with these eyes. If yes. someone wants to give them a forever home, what do they need to do? Yeah, so they can visit um, PugRescueOfNewEngland.org. We're actually in the process of changing our application process. We used to have a waiting list because a lot of people want younger pugs, but in reality, we get a lot of middle-aged senior ones in. So we'll be implementing our new process. When you see a pug on Facebook that you're interested in, you can just uh, fill out an application for them. Yeah, they may be long in the tooth, but they will bring you lots of cuddle time yes. and happy times in your home. Thank you so much Absolutely. for being here with us and bringing us awesome. these wonderful dogs. Thanks for having us. Sure thing. We'll be right back.